Hey everyone, I'm Carter Culver, and I'm here at Glacier High School for some Kalispell Crosstown basketball, as the Wolfpack are hosting the Braves for this doubleheader, with the girls tipping off first. Let's see who won bragging rights. In the girls' game, it was Glacier who started hot, led by junior guard Reese Ramey, who was an absolute bucket in the opening quarter for the Wolfpack to put them up early. But then, it was Flathead's Candy Moore, who came alive in the second quarter to even the playing field, with shots like this beautiful mid-range jumper. Chloe Converse drilled this one from downtown for the Bravettes. And then it was Maddie Thompson with this bucket and the and one to give Flathead a 25-24 lead at the half. Carly Allen drained this three for Glacier in the third quarter, but Flathead's Converse hit another three of her own to answer immediately. Sammy Dallager had this bucket and the and one to put Flathead on top in the final minute, and the Bravettes went on to win 54-48 and had the visiting student section absolutely fired up with the huge rivalry win. Next, in the boys game, it was Glacier who started hot, with a 7-0 lead led by Noah Cummings to start the game. But Flathead got back in it, thanks to plays like this board and bucket from Corbin Eaton. Noah Cummings drained this three in the second quarter that rattled its way through the net. But he was met with a quick response from Flathead's Lyric Erslin, who nailed a three of his own. Erslin hit another three only moments later to make it a one possession game, but Cummings returned the favor with this huge corner three to give Glacier a 25-19 lead heading into half. The Wolfpack held on to that lead throughout the whole second half and went on to secure a 57-50 win to make it an even split on the night for the Crosstown rivalry. In Kalispell, Carter Culver, MTM Sports.